<laughs> hey guys, Michelle here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I create the images I've been using with my blog post to encourage people to share on Pinterest and other image-focused sites. So as you can see, I've got a post here that I'm writing for next week that I've got it basically done. So my next step is to create the image. The way that I do that is by using a website called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Just go to the homepage, get signed up. If you don't, it's uh, free, very easy to do. And then scroll through here and you can choose the size you want. You can use the Pinterest one right here, or you can use the blog graphic. Either one will work. I generally click on the Pinterest one. And that opens a window like this where you can choose from layouts over here on the left of what you'd like to use. I started with this one and now I'm going to customize this to fit my blog post. So I'm going to start by choosing a background image. You can choose from Canva's options here. You can choose a color. I can go down through here. They've got lots of free options. I like to get images from Stockfresh, stockfresh.com. This is a paid site, but I know my images are properly licensed when I use them from here. So I downloaded an image and I've already uploaded it. You can do that with this button right here. So this is the image that I chose. And now I'm just gonna add this on here. I'm going to speed up this part of the video while I finish creating and editing this image so that you can see generally how it works. I encourage you to get signed up for Canva and check it out, play a little bit on your own and see what it can do for you. All right, so as you can see, it, it'll take a little tweaking to get it just the way you want it to look. You might try out some different layouts, some different colors, uh, but once you've got it to where you want it, just click the download button, download as an image, and it'll take a minute to prepare your image. Once it's completed, you'll go back over to your blog post and upload it there. So I'll go back to my post. Well, first let me make sure this file is saved. All right, and I want to add media, upload files. There's the image right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. I'm going to customize uh, the title and alt text. I do want a pin button on my image, absolutely. If you don't have this option, you may need to install a plugin for it. I use pin button attraction. I want this over to the right. I do not want it to link to anything because I have this pin button on it. 
I'm going to hit insert into post. Now that's gigantic, so let's fix the sizing. Make this a little bigger. So just get the size that you want on it. And I'm going to save the draft with that image in there. And let's see a preview of this post. All right, now you can see I've got my custom image here with my pin it button, uh, Smart Bloggers After Publish Checklist. And I've got my little logo and domain name on here for branding. So that is how I create these shareable images that I put into my blog posts. Again, the site that I used for this was Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Check it out. It's a lot of fun to play with. <laughs>